Hello, and welcome back to another video, and that's right, the Minecraft gods have blessed us with another experimental snapshot for 1.18. Today, it is experimental snapshot number 5, so we have a lot to unpack in this snapshot, mostly pertaining to the cliffs part of the caves and cliffs update. As you can see here, our first few entries are about cliffs including we have peakier peaks in some areas mountains have jagged peaks like in the beloved bedrock beta mountains uh they have peakier peaks in bedrock edition i'm guessing in the previous snapshot and those would look like this very large pointy peaks rather than sort of flatter ones like in like we saw in the last uh snapshot i really love this edition oh look We've got goats. Finally, uh, this gives us so much more area to build and to, to just enjoy and adventure through on our way to defeat the Ender Dragon. And I feel this is a much, much needed change. I, I, really, I really like this addition. Also, we've got made mountain areas and peak biomes slightly larger on average. That was also something we did not see in the last snapshot because, you know, this this obviously wasn't added, but um, we, we can see this is quite a large peaks biome. It goes, it, there's a river that cuts through it, I think, but it's, this is all a peaks biome and this is magical and wonderful. I love it. <laughs> Finally, we get the, the peaks added to, to caves and cliffs. And then, entry number three. Raise the average mountain height, fixing an unintentional change from snapshot four that made mountains lower and smoother. That's also what we saw in snapshot four, obviously. Um, but then we had to lower the mountain height again to fix the peakier peaks, so maybe it evens out. We deliberately avoid having peaks or mountains that go above Y260 or so because we want to pay, we want players to have space to build cool stuff on the peaks. So peaks that try to sneak too high get mercilessly cut off on a plateau. So what have we got here? 260. Holy crap, that's high. That's about here. So no mountain will go above here just to give players a little bit of space to build without having to terraform the, the area around that. As we can see here, this one gets really close. Oh, I think it does get there. Yeah, it gets sort of plateaued here. This could come up into a peak, but it does not. Same with here. So this is clearly very well implemented, very well put together. I like this change. Uh, I feel like it adds quite a bit to, to Minecraft. Entry number four. Fossils with diamonds no longer generate above deep slate level. I don't think I can find that. Yeah, I cannot find a fossil just with commands. That would take quite a while. Um, and to show something that just isn't there anymore. But uh, diamonds that spawn with fossils no longer generate uh, above deep slate level so they have to be below deep slate level so it'll be a little bit harder to find them entry number five moved swamps slightly farther inland since they were leaking murky swamp water into the ocean this is not happening anymore oceans are happy about this swamps are a bit grumpy also swamp trees can grow in slightly deeper water uh, than before so swamp lakes should be less barren I I could see that. There's there's a little bit more life in these. This is cool. This is a swamp cave. Oh, here's more swamp trees. So I guess it sort of just cuts around like here, I guess. And then it comes to this swamp. And then let's see, are these trees, this tree is growing in two blocks of water rather than just one. So is this one. Alright, I think, I think that's pretty cool. Entry number six. 
Cave carvers can carve through red sand and calcite, so those blocks are no, are, aren't left hanging in the air. So we can see here, kind of, uh, that it did carve through the calcite, but then the deep slate is just left s sitting there. Maybe that's just a bug, but maybe you got to fix that. <laughs> Next, tweak the depth of rivers and the steepness of river banks. They are less likely to be super deep or get choked off in flat areas. Also, rivers integrate better with swamps. The river tends to get shallow and merge with the swamp rather than carving through. Swamps like that feel less disruptive. So if you look at my last video, which I do suggest checking out, it showcases Snapshot 4. And while you're there, consider subscribing. Uh, you'll be notifi notified whenever a new uh, snapshot comes out. Anyways, maybe this was not correctly implemented or maybe this is just a ravine but that seems like a pretty de deep river for me but the river banks definitely they're, they're less steep i guess maybe that's what they're trying to to put in or maybe they're not i'm not sure but i mean i it, it kind of has like these little beaches around the river which i kind of like but i also really enjoyed the fjords maybe they're still in here but I haven't seen one yet, so. Our next entry. Small lake features are no longer placed in dry and hot biomes, desert, savanna, badlands. Reduce the number of lake feature placements in other biomes. So, maybe this lake is supposed to be in this biome, the forest. Yeah, this is, this is in the forest, although it's a lot in the badlands, so maybe it's just a, a coincidence. But, look what I found. A huge cave. Next entry. Small hills and overhangs generate more often in flat areas like in Snapshot 3. This was accidentally removed in Snapshot 4, causing flat areas to be a bit too flat and featureless. So, these small hills and overhangs. I have not seen one in this biome, but maybe there's one in the desert over here. Yeah, kind of. This was kind of, kind of done. Like here. Small hills. I guess that works. Ah, this would be a small hill. No overhangs, though. Oh, here's an overhang. Yeah, there's a, there's a good example. Now, here's a sad one. Reduce the amount of shattered terrain that sh and shattered savanna biome, replacing that with some flatter beaches instead. Although, I kind of like the beaches... I really enjoy the shattered savannas and other shattered terrain because they're it's just my favorite biome. There's there's just so much there, so many cool and weird things. And it replaced it with flat beaches, so these. Next, water springs can generate in more types of blocks such as dirt and snow, reducing the likelihood of small mountains, streams and waterfalls. Also added springs to lush caves. Let's check that out. Here's our lush caves. Let's find a spring, though. These are not springs, I think. I think they're just pools. I think this may, may be a spring. Not 100% sure. I think that's a spring as well. Oh. Whoa, this is not a spring. What is this? I'm guessing this is just a lake or something. Wow, this is pretty cool and it's got ice in it. Why does it have ice? And glow squids. Huh. Wow, it's a lot of water. <laughs> Made Badlands slightly smaller on average. I don't really see that here. <laughs> this is a huge, huge Badlands. I don't know what you're talking about, Mojang. Just a bit. Don't worry, they're still quite big. They sure are. They're massive. Wow. This is the biggest Badlands I've ever seen. Oh, and here's a peak. What Y level are we at? Not quite 260 yet. Yeah, this is quite a big Badlands. This, this is quite a bit of terracotta, too. Added, well, re-added <laughs> the Jungle Edge Biome. If we keep it, we'll probably rename it, though, because it really isn't an edge biome anymore. Yeah, I mean, 
th this would be a jungle edge biome here. This is just a jungle. And then over here would be a jungle edge because it doesn't have the same leaf, co leaf coloring and grass coloring and stuff. And it can blend a little bit more with the, with the bad land. It still has all the jungle features though, like cocoa beans and trees and stuff. So not much has been removed. Next, tweaked mushroom fields biome so it matches the shape of the islands better. Oh. <laughs> this would be a mushroom fields biome, I guess. Uh, it sure does match the shape of the island, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, so it extends from here. And now it's deep ocean. Alright. <laughs> um, so, that, I'm guessing, doesn't work because... Like, this whole area would be a mushroom fields for this island. It's very disappointing. It's very disappointing, Minecraft. Come on. So here we are in a meadow biome. And this would should be a cave entrance to a dripstone cave. Because, because... Dripstone Caves Biome place stone surface instead of grass surface when leaking out of cave entrances. This should make Dripstone Cave gra entrances last less grassy. So, let's find a good entrance to this cave. Here's one. Maybe. Nope. Oh, maybe here. Yes, here. So this is stone rather than grass. Grass would then just like go up here. And yeah, so this is way less grassy than it used to be. And then I'm guessing the dripstone caves biome. I still do not see any dripstone. Yep, I guess this is not a dripstone caves biome. That's disappointing. But you can imagine how it looks. Next, remove the height-based spawning change that was made in Snapshot 3. We appreciate community discussions about this. We decided to undo the change for now, and we'll come back to this when we have more time. So, I'm guessing that the height-based spawning, so, like, cave monsters spawning up there was added in snapshot 3 and now it is removed until i'm guessing they add the warden because we do not want wardens up there <laughs> so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe like this video and turn on notifications to be notified whenever i release a video specifically about these snapshots that would be appreciated um and Thank you for watching this far. Most people don't. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next episode of 1.18 Snapshots. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.